Warren, I don't think I've ever seen a two-door hardtop Buick wagon uh, ever. <laughs> this is the only one in the world. The only one in the world. And so Buick didn't make this. They did not. They should have. That's right. That's what I thought they so should you, have. So you took care of it for them. That's right. How did you do that? I mean, uh, how many cars went into this? Five cars went into this. Wow. So obviously one, at least one was a wagon. That's right. And then some hard tops and oh, some. One hard top. Holy cow. What a lot of work. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane. But you know, I've always loved these. And, and uh, the roof here, they call this the sport wagon, right? That's and, correct. And uh, Oldsmobile was the Vista Cruiser. That's right. But these skylights, I just, I mean, when these came out, I always wanted my mom to get one of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just thought it'd be so cool riding <laughs> yeah. around in the back seat with, you know, with the skylights. Yeah. And they only did this for, what, a couple years? Buick went from 64 to 69. Oldsmobile continued up to 72, I believe it was. Oh, I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah. Well, you know, you've done everything to it. I mean, the interior, uh, I mean, you really did do this like, like Buick would have done it. That's right. So what's That's the right. interior from? It, I mean, what's it, the mix and match here? We got 64 and 65 Skylark. But the 65 is Buick Grand Sport, like the council, uh -huh, the, uh -huh. the instrument uh, cluster, the steering column, the gov compartment, believe it or not. Very expensive, very hard to find, and that's Grand Sport. Really? But like the padding is 64, uh, interior 64, uh, door panel 64. Now, now door panels, I, I like your yellow uh, trim there. That, that wouldn't have been, they would have been what? black or something? Or yes, it? it would have been black and uh, I figured it would look much better tricolor in here. I love tricolor. Well, yeah, I mean, get, get a little 50s going there, you too. You got it. But, you know, it does set it off. And again, just the way the light streams in and, and the the sun visors that yes. went with these. I yes, thought that was so right. cool. That's right. Oh, and man. then I went ahead and chromed all the chrome up in there. Wow. Uh, it was painted before, but mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, make it look more grand sporty. Yeah, well, it, it, it does. Well, you know, she, now she's she seems kind of short though it is short and why, um, how why is that well to get the b pillar to flow into the pillar on top uh -huh. i had to shorten this by almost three inches oh, okay to bring it in the, to bring it in oh yeah and not only that is the frame i had to bring the frame in also wow and re-weld it holy cow grand sport you even have grand sport wheels on it right that's right that's right well, man, that is, that is one long look in there, too. These are big, even, even three inches short of this baby's long. And she's a Deadwood car? That's correct. Uh, Lamar's uh, of Deadwood was the Buick dealer. And it's still on Main Street. It still has the front facade of an old dealership. Wow. Uh, the last Buick car in there was a wagon. Really? Now, and you're from Deadwood, right? That's correct. Oh, how cool. I was yeah, born in had, Deadwood. You have to put that on. Yeah, that's there. right. That's right. Can you, can you drop the tailgate? Yes, I, I can. Oh, man, the family truckster. And that is <laughs> that is really a long throw, that, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. And would, would this, uh, would Buick have done the yellow trim in these? That's right. That's the way they would have did it. Wow. And I tried to make it as original looking as I could, and I've been fooled uh, the first time I was in the show. They, they put me in the original category. <laughs> <laughs> then that, that, uh, that's a compliment. It is, Can it I is. Close it? Yes, go ahead. That's pretty well, well uh, sprung there. It is, there. they'd have a spring there. Okay, so Warren, back in the day, this would have had the 4 one nail head uh, Correct. engine. You still got that? No, I don't. I did, changed it over. Did something different? I did, completely different. Let's go look at it. Okay. Wow, yeah, no, that's no that's no nail head. Uh, that looks like uh, something out of a, a Grand National. The Blanc is originally a Grand National, but they have converted it over to front wheel drive originally. Uh, and this is an 03 front wheel drive Buick motor supercharged. So is this car front wheel drive now? No, it's not. I converted it over to a rear wheel drive. Holy cow. <laughs> using the S10 700R4 transmission, which bolted right onto that. No kidding. Yeah, bolted wow. on. What, well, no, I mean, I, I think it's great you went Buick, but why did you go Buick? What happens is when you belong to the Buick Club in the modified, if I didn't have a Buick motor in here, I would lose 100 points right immediately. Right off the bat, wow. Immediately, which almost takes you out of the show. Yeah. So what a wild engine to choose, though. <laughs> yeah. And did she go in pretty well? No, it was tough. <laughs> As you can see, the Ram, 
ordinarily the throttle body would be in the oh, back yeah. uh -huh. and I had to build and I did I built all this and of course we got ram air into it now with K&N filter and uh, so she's a supercharged 3.8 yeah and I figure I'm about 270 horses which is respectable that's as much as a small block V8 yeah, yeah. and I get 30 miles to the gallon which nowadays is really nice that's unbelievable yeah that is that is just it's a fantastic choice what a fantastic job and and your license plate sort of says it all it it's does. a bumad yeah a bumad, bumad. <laughs> <laughs> they should have done it shouldn't they yep they should have man worn fabulous car well thank fabulous you. workmanship thank you. too Appreciate great it. bumad <laughs>